Welcome back to the channel. Today's daily challenge is Chicago Burr, drive across the frozen lake at La Grande Caldera. So, what vehicle should we use for that? Let's get one of those overlanding type builds that we had. I don't know if you guys remember the overlanding season. I don't even know what it was called. Explore the horizon or something like that. Actually, I know what I want to use. Give me a second. I'm going to use my new one. And this is just like a pretty standard build. We're still at B640. I think I supercharged it, le left everything stock, but we put bigger tires on. We put this uh, conversion on the back. Sounds pretty good. All right, so let's put our point here that we need to get to. We're going to overland up to this uh, frozen lake. So there it is. I'm going to put it right there. So let's go ahead and take this. Whoa, 8.2 miles? Oh, because it's it's driving. All right, so we're just going to go off off the beaten path here. I think I want to shift as well. Because I don't want I don't like the way this thing shifts. All right. Here we go. I just kind of want to cruise, you know? Like you wouldn't drive like that in normal <laughs> normal life if you had like a 5 speed. I'm used to driving my 10th gen Civic SI with a 6 speed. And most of the time, you're just kind of going through the gears a little bit, shifting early. You know? I mean, we are going 60 out through here. I want to stay in the power band, so... We'll do that here. This isn't really overlanding. This is kind of more Baja, right? But once we get to the place where we actually have to crawl, we'll see if this thing will make it up. A lot of brush and crazy stuff out here. Ooh, wait, here we go. Little hill. Eh, no problem. No problem for the supercharged Silverado. Okay, so we've made it to a road here. But this road goes the wrong way, so we don't want that. Just missed the rocks there. Okay, this is what we want. This is more like a little, like a dry like riverbed or something. This is the kind of stuff I really like. This is something different for Forza. You're not going to be doing this in motorsport, that's for sure. All right, so we got we got our truck here. I'm about half throttle. Actually, no, I'm way more than half on the what I can see on my wheel here. There's like a digital readout, but all right, now we're going to have to be a little a little more serious. This is crazy. Pretty much all the way full throttle here in second. There's floor in it. I used to do this a lot in uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. It was so much fun to just go on top of the mountains there. Down into first. Flooring it. Still has traction, not spinning. Really nice. There we are, we're spinning. Okay, why are we spinning there? What happened? Okay. Alright, I'm going to put it on the e-brake now. Let's see if we can make it up here. Oh, man, we got stuck. Okay, okay, okay. Launch control is coming into play, which is weird. There we go. We made it over that little bit. Still got a ways to go. Let's go ahead and head this way. Look at the red line there. I wasn't watching. All right, so we made it to the uh, barn find, so that's cool. That's where I usually go up from the festival, over there where it's like snowy. I don't know if I can make this. This looks insane. If you're starting to gain RPM on your tack and you're not spinning, you're going to make it. We are really pushing the limits of this thing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. 
I can't believe it made it up here. Literally, with just a supercharger. All right, there we go. Now we're on flat ground, revving it all the way out. About half throttle here, 75 miles an hour. Getting a little snow now. All right, so we can go across the frozen lake kind of at any point here. Almost there. So it is pretty cool that you get these seasonal changes, you know. So we have to drive across. Let's see when it actually changes. Gives us the daily challenge. And the funny thing is that there it is. It gets a little bumpy. Which is funny. You'd think it'd be like super smooth go out there and do donuts, but no. It's kind of sloshy. So there you go. Chicago Burr drive across the frozen lake at La Grande Caldera. I'm going to leave it there for today. That was a, a pretty good drive there. <laughs> but we got both of our cars that we needed to get. We still have one more daily challenge before we head into the last season of American Automotive. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be going to the spring hot season on Thursday and then winter wonderland coming up on December 7th. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Later.